What's going on everyone? Welcome back to our San Jose Sharks franchise mode. We are in round number one taking on the Calgary Flames with our team. Sebastian Ajo helping our team make the playoffs this year along with a lot of young guns uh, kind of helping out as well. Uh, it's extremely disappointing that we're going to be without Micah Zabinijad or Mika Zabinijad for this playoff run. I think he would have really secured pretty much our, our Stanley Cup hopes but unfortunately he had other plans by breaking his 38 year old leg uh so we're just gonna have to do it with what we got this is completely fine basically like nothing at the trade deadline happened we actually lost a player at the trade deadline uh basically is how that worked um but looking at our team first line Sven Pedestrom, Sebastian Ajo, Oliver Wallstrom been playing absolutely fantastic together obviously Pedestrom wasn't always on that first line he's been swapping between the first and third line kind of like Jose McLennan here uh second line William Eklund with Matthias Omen and Jonathan Lekramaki. Lekramaki kind of finding himself a home there on the second line having himself a career best year 26 goals 25 points dude is a goal scorer now he's playing where he's supposed to be playing third line Jordan Greenway with Sergei Nakushkin and Jose McLennan Jose McLennan obviously the rookie 10th round pick that we traded up for uh this past season all right dude's been having a pretty decent rookie season I want to say uh it's better than some rookies we've had mine the minus 16 I think he can um I think I think he can improve that next year. I'm going to say that's just because he's he's a rookie, you know, doesn't really know the defensive side of it all yet. Um, but either way, 22 goals in a rookie season. Dude's going to be a very, very good goal scorer for us. Um, fourth line is Maxime Comtois with Stan Zanin and Liam Foudy. All right, so that's going to be our offense, defense, Tony D'Angelo, Torsten Svedberg, uh, uh, Vyacheslav Bure with Dante Fabro, Ryan Merkley with Gustav Lindstrom to start this one. And then in between the pipes, we're going to have Chandler Day in there. If we go down 3 nothing, maybe we'll give Darcy Hirma uh, a chance to uh, get some playoff experience. Um, probably not, though. I think Chandler Day's got what it takes to really push this Calgary Flames team to the limit. Speaking of which, let's go take a look at what these Flames have to offer us real quick. So their first line is Jacob Peltier when Mar uh, Martin Neckes, he was a free agent signing, and then Andrew Magapane. Magapane going back to the Flames, all right. Uh, second line, Jack Eichel with uh, Julia... Guillermo uh, Simon and Elias Lindholm. That is a cranked second line. So top six is cranked. Oh, wow. Forwards are just fucking cranked. Cody Clark on the third line with Ludwig Bjorkstrom and Caleb Devin. Fourth line is Jake Beck with Alicacio Protus and Seth Bertuzzi. They pretty much got a superstar ability on every single forward. Defensively, Josh Morsey with Lacey Thompson. Uh, John Marino with Matthias Norlander. Uh, Jason Delawal with Andrew Calder. All right, so they got a decent kind of meh. Kind of, I would say it's uh, it's meh. It's not like an elite defensive core, but they got a pretty elite offensive core. Uh, Goaltending, uh, they got Sammy Pis Pispanin in between the net. All right, and then Cal Pedersen backing him up. Scratch. Raphael Lavoie and Keandre Miller are both scratch. All right, well, they're hurt. How long are they hurt for? How long are they hurt for? Fucking finish that. How long are they hurt for? Are they going to be out for this playoff series? April 27th and April 30th. I think that's going to be enough to miss a majority of the games, at least. So the last game would be on the 30th. So if this goes to Game 7, they would have him. And then Okay, so the first four games are going to be without at least both of them. And then that fifth game is when they probably are going to start pushing the limits with some of their injured players. All right. All right, all right, all right. Not bad, boys. All right, we're in the playoffs. Game 1, Calgary. In Calgary, we got to set the tone right, all right? Everyone's expecting Calgary to beat us. We are the underdogs, in my opinion, for this series. So let's go prove everybody wrong, 
All right, power play to San Jose to start this period, first period. And we go up 3 nothing. That's what I like to see. Sebastian Ajo scoring for that first line. Then Lekramaki and Eklund scoring on that second line. All of them are in the slot, all right? Right in the crease of the goaltender. I wouldn't be surprised if Sebastian Ajo just broke his fucking ankles or did a wraparound to score that goal. But I digress. All right, so that was the first period. Huge success. Three goals on seven shots. And then Chandler Day, 14 saves in the first period. Let's come on. We got to keep this up. First, second period. All right. We let one by us. Simmon going to score on day. Third period. And right away, they make it a one goal game. Not even a minute into the third. We are getting demolished in the shot clock. Come on, boys. We need another. We get a, we get a reassurance goal. All right, get a reassurance goal. It looks like Peltier scored from behind the fucking net. There we go. Liam Foudy, fourth line score, and thank God he did because Bjorkstrom scored on day. Final five minutes, 4-3 game. Let's see what's going to happen here, boys. Alrighty, final five minutes of play. We're up by one. Basically, just gotta play some defense. Wouldn't be mad if we uh, put one in the net, though. Marino just skating right through our players. No one's taking the puck off their stick. Marino in the slot, put off by Burr. Thank God he's fucking strong. Fabrio over to Foudy. Foudy trying to get around the defender. He gets hit, losing it. Eichel up to Marino. Marino moving to his winger now. Back to Eichel. Eichel steps up, hit off by Foudy. Foudy going to cut to the left side. Tries to do a toe drag and just leaves it in the center ice. McLennan now battling for that loose puck. He's pinning Eichel along the boards. It's outside the blue. McLennan back with it. Passes the center. Nakushkin over to Foudy. He lost it on the toe drag. He's going to lose it again. Burr poked off. Come on. Foudy has the goal earlier. So we, we can't hate on him too much for his stick control, but still I can at the exact same time. Uh, Eichel. Passing up to the defenseman out front. Eichel's shot is blocked. Hit up in the air for McLennan. Poked away. Nakushkin skating right at the defenders. Cutting. Poked. That one will get around him, though. He'll beat him to him in the corner. Trying to toe drag right around the defender. No good. Marino gets the puck. Poked away. And there's going to be a battle for it. Calgary now breaking it out. Lindholm. 45 seconds left. Good step up by the D. Lindholm again. Passing up to Norlander. Shot is blocked, loose puck, Foudy, empty net, Liam Foudy hurls back into his zone, he doesn't have the speed, Norlander passing it wide to Bertuzzi, 30 seconds, Bertuzzi gets hit off, McLennan looking for his first playoff goal, could be an empty netter, Bertuzzi hit off the puck, Magapane trying to feed it out front, no good, Burr up to McLennan, McLennan can't get it out, he pokes it though out, thank God, 15 seconds, Norlander skating all the way back, into his zone, might be a chance for San Jose to get a line change, no. Bertuzzi hit off the puck, Nikushkin shoots at the empty net, missing that one wide. Norlander gets it for Calgary, and that will be it. Game one going to San Jose for the three win. We almost fucking uh, choked there. We almost fucking choked. We were up three nothing into the first, and we win thanks to a late goal by Liam Foudy in the third, all right? We can't be having that. You can, we cannot be having that. Just plain and simple. We got to play better defense. We can't let them continuously outshot us a shit ton. I, I just don't know. I, I don't know what it was going to be. Oh. I mean, I'm glad that we got the dub. I really am glad that we got the dub, but... God, that was much closer than it really needed to be, San Jose. All right, second game in this series still in Calgary. All right, we had a good game one. Not the greatest, but a, a, a good game one. Let's see how we're going to do game two. First period, splitting it 0-0. This time we're out shooting them. This is the first time we're out shooting Calgary in this playoff series. Let's see if we can keep it up. Second period. Split the period. 1-1. One, one. Matisse Omen going to score on PSPN. Uh, and then Simmons going to score on day for Calgary. Calgary retaking the shot advantage. 23-20. Uh, to 20 Going into the third. Tied one apiece. 
Who is going to be the hero? Who's going to be the hero? Come on. Who's going to be it on San Jose? Third line's been awful quiet. Power play to San Jose. Killed off. And Marino going to score on day right before we got a power play. Killed off. There we go. I said the third line's been quiet. First line scores shortly after. Aho Eichel scores to tie it up. 3-3. Three, three. This one. Oh. What I do? I'm, I switch the jerseys on accident. Hold on. Away. Home. Oh, good. Go, 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 go. Jerseys are correct. So, yeah, this is this is going to be something. Tied three apiece in Calgary. McLennan. Oh, shit. I selected my team. Ooh, that was uh, that was an accident. That was an accident. It was me, 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 me. You know what? You know what? Let's take over. Do we want to take over as a coach? I think I might want to take over as a coach. Coach. There we go. So we're going to take over as the coach for our squad. Get our first line all out there. Good, good, good. Tony D'Angelo poked away by Nekis. Nekis over to Thompson. Thompson losing to McLennan. McLennan comes in shot. Oh, he just barely goes by. Let's go, Rook. Let's fucking go. Peltier's got it for Calgary. Still coming in, searching for it out front. Tony D'Angelo to Nikushkin. Wide to McLennan. McLennan. Oh, good D by our guy there. Neck is out front. Peltier shoots and scores. Uh, all right, all right, all right. What happened? What happened? Because that dude was wide open. All right, let's just go back here. All right, we have the puck. I say, hey... Let's go for a line change. I want to get our second line out there. They've been the best line. All right, McLennan's on our third line. Like, our first line's supposed to be out there, and for some reason, our third line's out there. All right, just just to start. That's kind of fucked up, that it showed that my first line and first line D's supposed to be out there, and yet we have my third line out there. All right, so they already should have been changing for my first line to begin with. All right, so McLennan gets it. Gets it poked away, and then I'm tolling, I told them already to change, all right? If these guys were smart, all right, they know, yeah, he's requesting a change, but hey, they're on attack. That would be a dumb change. No NHL players, all right, would ever in a million years do this. Watch how fucking stupid. It's like they're, they're stuck. Oh, oh, now we got to change. I know we wanted our first line out there, but, uh... I guess we're the first line. So they fucking now change. D'Angelo steps up, big body. He's now stuck because he's trying to change as well. But he's stuck between a body so he can't get off the ice. This guy's now pushing him. Look, D'Angelo, literally the puck's right there. Right there. You don't, you're telling me that an NHL player with body positioning isn't going to try to turn and get this puck. Nor is his defensive partner going to go and try to help him. That's what you just told me with this with this play right here. So he's pinned. Look, still stuck trying to fucking change. Still stuck trying to change. Still stuck. Finally fucking changes. The entire time. The entire fucking time. I don't even know if he was trying to hit him. I think he was just trying to get off the ice. Fucking so stupid. So stupid, that goal. Should have never fucking happened. Should have never fucking happened. So now we got our second line out there. Thompson. Trying to move it to Lindholm. Passing over to Simmons. Simmons wide to Eichel. Eichel poked off. Lindholm poked away again. You know what? Fuck this. You know, the computer cheated. I can fucking cheat. I can fucking cheat a little bit. You know, I'm not the greatest player at this game, but I can jump in and fucking play. That was so fucking stupid. I fucking hate... Uh, this game's so realistic. So realistic. This is a great way of simulation hockey. Just like Madden's a great fucking... Simulation football. Definitely simulates the real sport. And uh, Calgary's playing keep away right now. Can't get the puck off their stick. 
It's like it's glued there. Yep, it's like it's glued there. It's my favorite. Come on, skate. And we have no one coming to support us on our fucking team. Why does my team feel so slow? Even when I'm pressing them to sprint, it's like they're not changing their fucking speed. And Eichel's on a breakaway. Oh my god. Literally every time that I fucking poke them away. Every single time I fucking poked the puck away and immediately went back to them. The entire fucking time I poked it immediately back to them. But you know what happens with our players? Let's rewind to before we got the puck or before we jumped in. Boop, 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 boop. Let's see how far their fucking poke checks go. We'll go right back to the beginning of the faceoff. So they win the faceoff. They get it. They get it. They get it. We get it. Look at that. Hits off our stick perfectly to one of their players. No stick check by our guy there. No, no, no. Loose puck, loose puck, loose puck. They get it. Of course they get it. Loose puck. Saucing it on over. Poked away right to their guy. Stick lift, stick lift, loose puck. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I get that Jack Eichel, but that's not a strong poke on the puck. Nice little... Slow thing, goaltender doesn't play it, doesn't try to grab it. Lindholm gets it. No pressure by our forwards. Burr goes to the other side of the net. Y Eklund just skates away. You just watch, Fabro. Oh, yeah. Oh, they get it. I guess now we'll probably play some hockey. Burr comes in, finally gets it, hits off as he's trying to pass. So, loose puck. Who's supposed to get this puck? Could it be... Our center trying to get it? Could it be Omen? Because I know computers can fucking see out the back of their head. That happens all the time. All right, so we get the puck with Eklund. All right, dope, dope, dope. We got it. Moving up to our defender. And he just immediately loses it. Doesn't turn around to receive the pass so I can hit it off him like that play's supposed to work. Nope, nope. One hand it on the opposite side not even the right fucking hand all right and then immediately losing it we get it they get it right back poke right to them all right they get it again passing it w wide all right they get it get it get it keep away keep away keep away all right hits off of our stick let's just see hits our stick boom and then it goes right back to them right back to them Puck goes there, poke right back to him, goes right there, curls, there's some pressure, two guys on the puck, poked loose, neither of them get it, saucer and down low, back up to the D, and that's poked away, but no, we, got, we don't have the speed, we don't got the speed to fucking get it, and then there's the fucking Eichel poke as well, yeah, that... Definitely, you know, the, this is definitely a fair game. Do you see how fucking slow these guys are on us? Like, are my players, do you fucking see how fucking slow they're moving? Why is this so fucking slow? It's like they're moving in fucking slow motion. Literally moving in slow fucking motion. Alright, well we'll just chop that one right on up to the computer wanted to fucking win a game. So, I know that happens all the fucking time. Literally, if you play games, you know that there's just some games the computer are just like, I'm gonna win this one, no matter what you fucking do. So that was awesome. So first, so third game, now that we lost there, finally back at home. First period, split nothing, nothing. Shots are in favor of Calgary, 10-9. Second period. All right, go up, one nothing.
Alright, sorry for that, I was making food and I had to take a fucking break after that. But McLennan, the rookie, scoring his first fucking goal for us in the playoffs. First playoff goal in his young career, out shooting him in the third period. We're up by one at home and I said something and immediately Magapane scores. But Comtois on the fourth line scoring on Pispinen, come on. 26-20, the shots, we're out shooting him. Five on three, power play. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me, game? You've got to be fucking joking me with that shit. A short-handed five-on-three goal. Oh, this game just fucking wants us to fucking lose the round one, dude. We're literally just giving it to them right now. Oh, my God. Let me guess. Let me guess. Let me guess. We're going to go out there. And our third line is going to be out there. Or fourth line against their first line is that what's gonna happen and then if i go on coach mode is it gonna show that that's actually our quote-unquote first line no wow wow we we actually have our top line out there what a, what a surprise this is actually quite surprising marino has it passing to magapain over to norlander he gets it hit Norlander back in his zone, passing it to Peltier. Peltier to Magapain. Magapain over Norlander in front of his net. Magapain get it. Back up to Nekis. Nekis poked away by Torts and Svedberg. And wouldn't you know it? Wouldn't you fucking know it? It goes right to their fucking stick. Right to their fucking stick, as per usual. This is fucking ridiculous. It's fucking stupid. We poke it, goes right to them. We pass it, goes right to them. We shoot it, goes right to them. We skate it, goes right to them. Like, come on. I don't even think I've seen us get a fucking shot off against these guys. Sped Pedersen trying to tuck it five hole. That's our first shot and it was a fucking horrible shot. Horrible fucking shot. Oh my God, Magapain. Passing it over, intercepted. Ajo's got it, he gets hit off the puck. Where do you fucking know it though? None of our guys chase after it. No, 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 that would make too much sense for one of our guys to get the puck. Spedberg over to Omen. Omen over to Wallstrom. To Thompson. Maybe I should move it from All-Star to Pro for the computer. I don't fucking know. Eichel coming on in, just gonna skate right by everybody. You know who players can't fucking do that? Fine. Doesn't pass the puck up. Yup, doesn't pass the puck up. Omen's got it. Let me guess, bodied. Yup. Poked away, an offside. So they get the puck back. Eichel now has it for Calgary. Skates right by our guy. And I hope it works. Oh my God, you know what would be great? If we could touch the puck against this team, just touch it, just fucking touch. Doesn't fucking skate around and tries to skate to him. Can I change the fucking difficulty? Can I? Can I change the difficulty here? Because it, it literally seems like our team is a bunch of fucking dumbass players. I don't want to say the word because I feel like I'll get fucking canceled and in trouble. But it, it feels like our team is shit. Complete shit. Aho shit. Fucking Sf Sf Torts and Svedberg shit. Bure shit. Day shit. Will William Eklund shit. 
Pedestrum, shit. Omen, shit. All of them, shit. Shit, 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 shit. All of them. Every single last one of our players. Because we, we literally can't hold on to the puck longer than two seconds. Every time we have jumped into the game, every time, our defense doesn't step up to hit them. They don't fucking poke check them. They don't get the puck. Nothing. But Calgary, oh, they're fucking perfect. Fucking perfect. You know, there's never been a better hockey team in this game but than the Calgary fucking game. And we lose the face off. So we're about to sit here for an entire overtime period until Calgary scores. All right, I'm not doing this. I really, really, really want to fucking let the computer fucking play. I really fucking do. But they're a bunch of fucking retards. There we go. I fucking said it. The computer's a bunch of fucking retards. And now what's going to happen... So now what's going to happen, now that I'm fucking jumping into play, now my players are going to be super slow, like skating in molasses. They're going to be fast as fuck. And every puck will go their way. Picked up along the boards by Wallstrom. Not even close. Not Puts even fucking close. All right. Icing. So the game saw that I was passing. It was like, you know what? Fuck your pass. Fuck your pass. Cool. This is gonna be fun. I guess with this series we're gonna play. Calgary's Fucking short-handed goal. Five. You can be a little more aggressive here. You know the other team's tired. They just. Damn, Are you fucking? Nothing, the nothing I can do. There's nothing I can fucking do. Fuck you, Calgary. I'm s fucking sick of it, dude. What the fuck? I'm positive I could put this on fucking rookie and they would skate fucking circles because we'd never be able to touch the fucking puck. So now down two to one in the fucking series. Let's jump into game number two where I'm sure they'll score seven shorthanded goals. First period, Jack Eichel scores on day. Second period, Omen scores on Beck. Oh, sorry. Omen scores, may get one score game. Beck scores on day. All right, two to one. Power play. Nope, not going to happen. You know why? Because fuck me. That's why. Power play again to us. Oh, they're going to be the ones to fucking score. Of course they're going to be the ones to fucking score. A fucking course. You know, why the fuck not? Why the fuck not? Power play? Yeah, fuck that. Fuck that. We'll let the other team that's shorthanded fucking score continuously. First period back in Calgary. We go up 3 nothing. Ready to watch this 3 nothing fucking lead disappear? Second period. 5 gone 3. I fucking told you. They scored three fucking goals. Ready for the third period where they'll score two? Oh, we scored two. McLennan with the fucking Hattie. The only fucking player. The rookie is the only fucking player doing anything. William Eklund's now gone until May 3rd. Oh, yeah. Fucking love it. We're losing everybody. We lost our trade deadline acquisition with the X Factor for the entire postseason. Now we fucking won a game in our series. So you know what that means? We got to lose our second or third highest overall player. Oh, my fucking god this is fucking ridiculous fucking ridiculous ready i i can't oh now this is a minus one it wasn't a minus one when we moved him over here so fucking stupid so what, what is happening on our team? Who's the fuck? First line shit. Yep. First line. Oh, fucking course it's the fucking first line. <laughs> fucking God. So fucking stupid. It's so fucking stupid. Doing everything fucking right. Shorthanded goal against. Broken fucking leg. Continuously coming back to lose. The fucking computer, we can't even fucking touch the puck. Never in my entire 
franchise career have I seen a team so dominant with the fucking puck? Never. Never. In a million fucking years have I fucking seen this. So now we're down 3-2, to two, first period back in San Jose. We go up 1-0, Nakushkin scores, second period. We get tied up, Elias Lindholm, you fucking know it, gonna tie it up for... Immediately again, right off the bat for the third. Burr, we get a short-handed goal, but power play goal? No, nope. power play goal for San Jose or short-handed goal for Calgary? Neither of them fucking happen. Five on three for Calgary. Oh, yeah, why don't we just hand it to them? Fucking give them it on a fucking silver goddamn platter. Can't, can't fucking wait to watch this. You know what? I'm not even fucking commentating over this overtime because it's so... Fucking annoying and stupid. It's so fucking unrealistic. The fucking gameplay. It's fucking awful. Simulate. It doesn't simulate hockey at fucking all. At fucking all. None. None. There is not this many fucking turnovers in a game. There wouldn't be fucking defensemen, even if the coach is saying change. No fucking defensemen, whether it's fucking all the way down in mites. Or all the way up in the fucking NHL. Look at that. You could be talking to a fucking eight-year-old, six-year-old, seven-year-old. You know what they're not going to do? They're not going to allow someone to fucking go on a breakaway when it's right in fucking front of them. They're not going to fucking let a loose puck just sit there and let them go by them. It's not going to fucking happen. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro. This is what we live for. Overtime, let's go. Sudden death overtime is underway. Moves it to Natchez. And he takes the dish. Slick feed. Here's a shot. Scores! They win it in overtime. And not all heroes wear cape. Oh, well, that didn't take fucking long. Walked right in. Look at the celebration. Right fucking what a in. Effort tonight. Fucking dry humping our defensemen the as they're fucking the skating respect, it in. But it can't be easy at one end. No, it's really fucking a great dry humping our players the sport, as they fucking skate into the zone. Your season is like, like, what is this? Tell me when you've been able to see any def any fucking computer be as dominant as this. Pass it to the defenseman. Do, 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 do. Bad angle? Guess who doesn't take bad angles? The other team's computers every time we fucking play them. Skates right by. No poke check from behind. That's kind of weird. You know, I've seen a lot of poke checks from fucking behind happen on here. Weird that there's no poke check from behind here. Oh, passes it to a guy. Oh, passes it up to a guy who's not even fucking looking at him. Heads turned, heads turned, heads turned. Puck is passed. Goes into the, the ref skate. Oh, goes right into the ref skate. Oh, but Lindholm knows exactly where it fucking is. He doesn't reach back with one fucking hand. No, he can catch it in stride. In fucking stride. Oh, can't pressure him anymore. Why would we fucking pressure him? Oh, you know what to do? Maybe a poke check. Oh. There's the poke check. Oh, yeah, I forgot that they have fucking a string attached to it. Oh, they get it right back. A nice little poke there. Guess where the poke goes? Right to the guy who scores the goal. Like. Over. You are flat. You're on air. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck just happened? Their team is not that good. I want to go look at their speed. I'm going to... I'm fucking determined now. What is their speed? Because they were fucking flying out there. Speed, 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 speed. 89. 88, 89. 92 to 94. 90, 93. 90, 88. 84, 84. 87, 89. 82, 82. 86, 84. 87, 89. 81, 82. 86. All right. That's their speed. They got two guys that are really in the 90s. What's going on with ours? Pedestrum's got fucking speed. 85, 85, 90, 90, 90, 90, 89, 84, 84, 90, 91, 87, 80, 85. Like, <laughs> like we outspeed them, dude.
We fucking have more speed than them! And we fucking... <laughs> oh my god, this shit is so rigged! It's... <laughs> Holy fuck! Oh my fucking god. Fuck, whatever. What fucking ever. This game's fucking garbage.